Welcome to the Student Athlete Spotlight, featuring local high school sports. We'll have candid interviews with coaches, students, and more. So it's playtime. My non-negotiables, you got to be top academic. You got to be a good person. Um, someone that is, we're proud for you to wear SMR and represent us. We always talk about the little things. Little things matter. Um, so that's a thing that everybody understands and embraces. Sponsored by The Dorsey Law Firm, St. Mary's County personal injury lawyer. All right, welcome to the Student Athlete Spotlight. I'm here with Coach Somerville from St. Mary's Riken Girls Basketball. Thanks for uh, having me. Yeah, great to have you. We've had a great run over there. How many years have you been the head coach now? Um, six years. This is six my sixth years. year. Yeah. That goes fast, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> <laughs> it does. And uh, you're not in any easy league. So. Uh, no, not at all. <laughs> um, so that's competitive. Yes. Um, but you've done a great job, and, and, you, and you've seen a, a trend of getting better and better, mm -hmm. right? I mean, you guys Absolutely. are getting where now you're competing. And, Absolutely. Uh, but it's tough, I know. Yes, WCAC is arguably the best conference. There are better teams, of course, you right, know, the, the Sidwells and Independents. Right. But top to bottom, yeah. night after night, we're playing. every night. Yeah, we're, we're competition every night. I think it's neat to see the girls on TV, too. Like yes. you, know, you watch Notre Dame or UConn or whatever. Yeah. You, know, you watch and see these girls that played in the gym. And now exactly. They're playing in these national programs. It's exactly. pretty cool. And it's really cool for our <clears> girls <throat> to see them and know that that's what they can aspire to be, too. Right, absolutely. Well. Yeah. What's been a secret for you to kind of build a program there? I think the biggest thing is um, being fluid and flexible because mm -hmm. I think, you know, as coaches, there's always a little bit of ego in what we do, <laughs> right? Absolutely. <laughs> um, yes. <laughs> and uh, kids from 10 years ago, mm -hmm. a little bit different than kids yeah. from five years ago, a little bit different from kids now. Great point. And so learning to adjust – and not be so um, stuck in what I want to do. So the way you coach maybe even five years ago is different now you're oh, coaching right now tonight. Absolutely. Hmm. Absolutely. That's cool. It's funny because kids who come back, they're like, <laughs> you're so nice <laughs> where's <now>? Coach T? <laughs> this, isn't co this isn't our Coach T. Um, but it's just like parenting, right? Yeah. You don't parent the same way for every kid. Right. You give each kid what they need. Absolutely. So – you got to be fluid and flexible. Great. Well, let's talk about your team. Talk, talk about some of your seniors or leaders. Or... Sure. This year we've got Makaya Chase, mm -hmm. homegrown, local kid from Esperanza. Awesome. Um, she has really, she is really coming into her own. Has progressively gotten better every year. <laughs> She's kind of killing it right now. Right. Um, has developed a pretty lethal outside shot, and it's just crafty with the ball. Um, but more than anything, she's playing defense now. <laughs> so we are really, <laughs> really, really excited about what Makaya is going to do this All year. Around. Yeah. Um, Lord and Banks um, just has like a college frame um, and has developed her outside shot, um, has turned into a leader. Uh, and I, I honestly, I've told her, you're the kid that I've been wanting to coach for three years. So that's great. Again, you know, progression and. Mm -hmm being fluid and flexible you have to give them the room to grow right um so uh soleil kennedy uh, another kid who can shoot the ball mm -hmm. um when she's disciplined <laughs> 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 um but no she's she's a good kid uh kaya cook uh, she is um probably our most consistent player okay. uh, and like our glue player uh, she's so, the heart and soul yeah, yeah heart cool. and soul a uh, great kid wants to uh, end up at Morgan in engineering, so okay. she's doing it academically as well. And then we had a surprise return from Trinity Chambers, who played for us two years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, she's also a volleyball player. Oh, wow. Uh, we were able to talk her back in. in yeah, and she's a senior, so, you know, finish on the court. Oh, and great. she has given us all kinds of physical um, because we're not big, okay. so she's giving us all kind of physicality and mm -hmm. giving us rebounding, which is that's huge. One of our things. Yeah. So uh, I'm really happy with them so far. That's great. Yeah. And you do stuff in the off season. Talk about a little about what you do with some of the things in the off season with the girls. Um, so with our girls, uh, everybody's like, "There's no off season." Right. <laughs> uh, but um, you know, we do uh, skill work. Mm -hmm. All the time, it's tough because you know they they, they play travel basketball, right? Um, but we also have kids that want to be in the gym. So we also have kids that play other sports. So we 
absolutely encourage That's other great. sports mm -hmm. um, when they want to get in the gym. We're like, get in the gym. Yeah. Um, but also, we're teaching them how to teach the next group as well. So we do a lot of skills training, and I've been able to uh, sit back a little bit That's and special. let them take some lead in that. That's leadership, too, yeah. and, they, and they grow up doing that. Yeah. And you see that, and then those girls want to come play and be a part of it. That's yeah. Neat. One of the things we added this year was um, during our camp, uh, so we do summer camps for mm -hmm. younger kids. Instead of doing a full-day camp, we did a half-day camp, and then the second half of the camp was boot camp for our girls. And okay. instead of – so the first day I ran the camp, okay. the second day a senior ran the camp, and they had to get all the other teammates together to help them plan the mm. next day. So each of the following four four days mm -hmm. was led by a senior, and then the campers voted on who was the best camp counselor. And there was so much camaraderie, mm -hmm. but there's respect that comes in working together. Absolutely. So I thought that that was like That's a awesome. really good yeah. use of our time and. And you have a great staff, too. Talk about your, your coaches on your staff. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, so we've got um, so Damian Rivers, uh, mm -hmm. who has been on the boys' side and the girls' side. Um, he's like an mm -hmm. offensive guru. Just has a really, really high basketball IQ. Um, <clears throat> Sarah Dothert, uh has been with me from the first in at Riken to KCA wow. and back to Riken. That's neat. So I've, I've kind of been in a couple of places across okay. the county. Um, Herb Taylor, who was also at Riken Boys, mm -hmm. is with us. Okay. Uh, James Douglas was the head coach of La Plata Boys. Mm. He's coaching with us. Um, this guy named Blaine Somerville. Is he still around? <laughs> yeah, he's still around. Can right. <laughs> um, you get rid of him? <laughs> nah. What's, what's um, his role? Can, he, can you, can you he, define his role in the? What? Oh, absolutely. Okay. He <laughs> is there to coach our bigs. Awesome. Um, he and Sarah coach our bigs. We have a six-four okay. uh, wow. freshman who Blaine actually wanted to be on his offensive line. Right, I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I don't have anybody that big. Yeah. Uh, but his primary goal is to get her ready for us. She's playing JV right now. Okay. Um, we need some conditioning and just getting her solid. But, you know, 6'4 doesn't walk in the door. No. Wow. So That's a great person. So that that is his role. Her. He's also kind of the um, morale rah-rah guy. Sits at the end of the bench. Yeah. All the kids love to go down there. <laughs> Who wants to hang out with Coach T? Nobody. <laughs> Who wants to hang out with Coach Blaine? Everybody. <laughs> so, you know. Oh, my gosh. So, how do the girls know when you're mad? Do they know? Can they tell right away? Oh, they like, yeah, they how do know. they know? They know. Um, Is it a stare? Uh, there's you're not, you're usually, not a big yeller, right? No, not really. There's um, usually a ball that kind of hides what I'm saying to them directly. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, but, That's yeah, there, there's a look. There's, there's a, look. a look. And one night they were practicing and they were coaching the younger kids. Mm -hmm. And I get on their own, they decided to mock every one of the coaches. Oh, my gosh. And so when That's the hilarious. person who was mocking me mm -hmm. was just like, <laughs> There's the look. <laughs> Why? Talk about the season. What, what's the expectation? I know it's a, it's a it's a rigorous schedule you guys play. Yeah, but. it is a very rigorous schedule. Um, we, like I said, the you know the top four in the in the conference um, for the past couple of years have been PVI, St. John's. Uh, Good Counsel is really strong this year, mm -hmm. and St. John's and McNamara. McNamara, right. We're gonna have to get up to play for them. Are you traveling this year? Yes, where, we where are. are going this year? Uh, we're going to Tampa this year, so that'll be nice. pretty cool. We're going to Tampa over Christmas break. Okay. Um, so we usually go north, and we were like, hmm, <laughs> let's, "Let's go south. Let's go south. Let's, get, let's get some. Uh, yeah. Let's get some beach weather." Who's hosting that one? Is that um, high school? That's or? the Tampa. It's a Tampa Bay Invitational, okay. and it's a it's a pretty big one. Do you have any traditions that you've created at St. Mary's Reichen? The newest one is what I talked about over the summer, that, and that's gonna that's, that's gonna a great tradition. yeah that's gonna stay. Yeah. Uh, we always talk about the little things. Little things matter. Mm -hmm. um, so that's a thing that everybody understands and embraces. Mm -hmm. um, but as far as uh, tradition, that would be the biggest thing. Mm -hmm. Um, one of the things that I'm working on uh, for next year is to – we have a really, really strong uh, base of alumni um, that have gone on to play, you know, high level of basketball. 
And so what I'm working with them is to become mentors. Oh, that's huge. Like, so yeah. each one of them to take one of the kids mm-hmm. and be a mentor to them. All right, so coach, I'm an eighth grader, boy or girl, mm-hmm. what advice are you telling me first at, to the student, mm-hmm. you know, what should I be doing? Absolutely. You know, basketball, sports, school, all that mm-hmm. stuff, pre- mm-hmm. prepare. And then parental, they give them that parent advice right. of how they can best help that kid yes. you know, at that time. So to the kid, of course, first it's going to be academics. I'm big on academics. So my non-negotiables, you got to be top academic. You got to be a good person. Mm-hmm. Um, someone that is, we're proud for you to wear SMR mm-hmm. and represent us. Um, and then you got to do well on the court. So first is academics. Thank you, it's non-negotiable because if you can't do that, you can't go on to the next level. And our right. job is to prepare them to play at the next mm-hmm. level if they so desire. Right. And if you don't have the grades, you can't. You just right. can't. And give them opportunities. Yeah. yeah. Secondly, again, we do encourage multiple sports. Um, I know everybody says play one, mm-hmm. right? But particularly with girls basketball, you see like all the knee blowouts and, mm-hmm. you know, Studies are showing that if you're using the same muscles all mm-hmm. the time, right. um, there's more of a tendency for that to happen. So, and you can play year round now too. Oh, absolutely. You really can. You with everything right. and and kids do. Right. Um, so it's it's tough because some parents will be like, "Well, I've got to give them the same experience that everybody else is getting," and it's a yeah. it's hard to Sometimes tell you nice. what what is enough and what's mm-hmm. not right. enough. It's fine line. But I encourage skill development. Um, more, and it's hard because sometimes kids are playing AAU ball and they're playing with teams that are not developing them. Mm -hmm. Um, They're just playing a lot of games. So I encourage parents to really do research Mm -hmm. and be with a program that is going to develop your kid as well as get them some gameplay Mm -hmm. because – there was a point where, like, we were just doing skill work and not doing the gameplay, but then you become a drill warrior, mm-hmm. and you don't want right. that because it's got to translate to the game. Right. This is a great opportunity for me to implore to parents. Um, every parent thinks that their kid is the best, <laughs> right? They're, suppo- they're, they're supposed to. They're right. supposed we to, love them. right? You love, you love your kids <laughs> unconditionally, right? Um, what we have found with kids is they tell us a lot like you don't know sometimes how the car ride home after a game is so i would implore parents to let the coaches coach Mm -hmm. and you be their parent because the the sports and the athletic part will take care of itself Mm -hmm. right your relationship needs to be whole That's as well. That's tremendous advice. And, yeah. you know, yes. coaches are always, we're going to coach and we're going right. to get on them and we're going to do all of those things. And they need to have that balance of going home to that unconditional love. Mm-hmm. And it's tough. I get it. Yep. Um, but if I can just very candidly share, when kids are telling us, like, you don't know how the car ride home is. That's kind of tough to hear too. It is. You know, so and let let the let the kid dictate the training. So okay. sometimes we see parents who are taking them to this trainer and then taking them to this trainer and then taking them to this trainer and then taking them to the gym and then taking them to the the mm-hmm. strength trainer. Mm-hmm. And sometimes like those kids burn out. Burn out. Like, sometimes it's too much. Yep. There are those kids that it's absolutely for them. Mm-hmm. But it's got. To, I think it has to be dictated by the kid, and you know who your kid is. Those are great points. Is. People so. listening, I mean, that's, that's, that's tremendous. Because parents, it's hard. We love our kids, and we want to support them. And, but mm-hmm. you know, that's good, the separation. Yeah. That, that's really good. You've been coaching for a while, mm-hmm. you know, and it's a lot of work and a lot of time. Mm-hmm. What, what keeps you coming back? I love – to see the light bulb turn on <laughs> in a kid. He's talking about calling them tonight. They, yeah. they, they're there. Yeah. You know? So, yeah. I mean, I love, love, love coaching at the high school level, but I also love working with the younger kids. Really? 
I really do because, you know, of course at that age it's so pure. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, Makaya, like we've been working with her since she was a seventh grader. And so for now, for her to be coming into her own, that's, <laughs> that's the joy piece. But yeah. then even more than that, people ask me all the time, like, hey, did you have a successful season? Mm, ask me five years from now when I can tell you about – Chandler Smith, who has just passed the bar exam on her first try wow. and is now a practicing lawyer. That's winning. Or ask me about her sister, Sydney Smith, who we thought was going to be hard getting out of high school, <laughs> <laughs> and now she's got her Ph.D. in physical therapy. Wow. Or Naya um, Thompson, who is now um, studying to be a doctor. That's success to me. Mm -hmm. And the fact that they all come back. They're coming back. They come back. That means a lot. Like, and – you can't. That's priceless. So all the hours, yep. all the little pay, <laughs> <laughs> right? You know, all the yeah, right. <laughs> that's when it becomes worth it. That's tremendous. That's awesome. All right. Well, thanks so much for being on Short and Light. Uh, you did a great job. Uh, we're excited to see what you guys do this season. Uh, make a run at that title. All right. I know it's competitive, but you it's guys are are at that point where you're ready to start really challenging and. Hey, we're going to go done. for it. I know you are. I know I, I know you. I know we're you gonna are. We're going to go for it. I know you are. So good luck this season. Thanks for taking the time to come join us. Thank you. On the Student Athlete Spotlight. Thanks and, for having uh, us. I hope we'll get some of the girls on here too later in the year. Sounds good. All right, awesome. All right, thank, thank you. you. All right. Thanks.